Buenos dias. I am so excited to share my current realistic morning routine with all of you beautiful ladies. A morning routine is a foundation to my life. It really sets me up for success. So I want to share with you what I do every single morning. If I'm not on my period, like right now, I am full of energy, super vibrant, super motivated, and just ready to take on the world. Something that always helps me so much, just feeling overall better, um, and I feel like I have more control of my day, is to set an intention for how I want to think, act, feel, and serve. This has helped me so much, especially during dark days where if I didn't set an intention, I would feel like I would just be sucked into the abyss because I wouldn't be mindful of what I want to express that day. I, of course, also take some time to express my gratitude to my higher power for all of the abundance and the blessings that I have in my life. As some of you guys know, I have been on the journey um, and I have been studying for a few months now since October to become a primordial sound meditation instructor. And because of that, meditation has been a daily practice in my life. Meditation allows our awareness to turn inward. So our minds become clear, more creative and focused. It's brought a lot of balance and stability into my life and one of the most beautiful things that I have experienced in such a short amount of time has been the coming home to myself, my true self. It's allowed me to uncover that aspect of my life that I never even knew that it really existed until I gave myself the space in my mind to get there. So before I go downstairs, I like to do a little bit of TLC. I like to start by brushing my teeth with a fluoride-free toothpaste. I've been obsessed with this one because it actually leaves your mouth really nice and minty fresh. And the reason that I chose it is because I do want to decalcify my pineal gland. So this is a great way to begin. Next, I'm just going to take this nice creamy vegan cleanser and wash my face. I tend to wake up with a little bit of an oily skin so I like to wash my face in the morning just so I have nice clean fresh skin. And then I go in with a breath of fresh air. I am obsessed with this toner. It's literally a breath of fresh air. It makes me feel so alive and I just mist my face and then apply sunscreen. This one is one of my faves. It's by Tatcha and it's just a really nice formula, nice and creamy and super hydrating. And that's basically my skincare routine in the morning. Then I go downstairs, the boys are having oatmeal, they're getting ready for school, well one of them is, um, and I pour myself a nice cup of coffee, cafe de olla that my hubby made, and this is my little munchkin, my little pollito, Aroncito, and he is watching tunes, and then we drive to school to drop off our big bro Isaac. And then I get home and then it's time for a workout. However, it's been about an hour after we get home and um, Isaac is at school, Aaron is off to the park and this is when I get my workout, which is usually around 10 in the morning. It's been around that time lately every day. So the workout that I've been doing, I am in round two of six weeks of the work. One of the toughest programs on Beachbody, and this is the one program that I actually saw physical changes, incredible muscle definition. I gotta give it up to Amoyla Caesar for creating such an incredible program. It's been helping me through some tough times because working out is my therapy for me. It's where I release any pent up emotions and feelings. It's where I listen to these incredible motivational speeches and I reprogram my mind to a winner mentality you know especially when i'm not feeling my absolute best like this is heaven for me i put on my headphones i reprogram my subconscious mind with incredible uh, words of wisdom 
from many, many incredible people. And I just give it 110%. This is what I absolutely love to do. I've been working out consistently now for a year and a half since Aaron was born. And it's just second nature for me to show up for myself. It's not something that I dread doing anymore. It's something that I absolutely love. And I'm obsessed with just becoming the absolute best version of myself mentally, physically, emotionally. Like I just want to level up in every which way that I can. And working out has been that gateway for me. It really started my transformation journey as well. After that, I hop into the shower and I start to do my glam. I have been approaching glam and just getting ready so much more differently now. I feel like I used to be kind of like a robot and I would just kind of wear what I thought was trendy at the moment and what everybody else was wearing. However, now that I see myself more so like a goddess, I ask myself intuitively, what does my goddess diosa self want to wear that day? Do I want to wear a beautiful dress what kind of fabrics do i want to wear do i want something soft do i want to be comfortable like it's all about really embracing what you truly want to wear what makes you feel comfortable what makes you feel like you what makes you feel just your absolute most confident and beautiful self and only you can answer that and that goes with the jewelry that i choose the makeup that i choose to wear also how I do my hair and I think that's just an absolute beautiful thing because what I wear every day is an expression of who I am and how I feel that day as well after getting ready I of course have to get my nutrition on it's such a big important part of my day because if I am not fueled up with the right things ladies I am not going to be my most powerful self and especially now that I'm going on a healing journey I also feel this intense need to go really clean with my diet and just really live a healthy life all around and i feel like i can afford not to do this at this level because if i am having emotionally rough days just imagine how worse i would feel if i was feeding myself junk or just in you know really diving deep into bad habits so i have been leaning towards going plant-based it's been a journey i've been learning a lot of different meals i definitely eat a lot of different things so i'll share more of that in future videos like what i eat in a day because it definitely varies because i do get kind of bored very quickly anyway so the last pillar of my morning routine will focus on nurturing my brain so i was nurturing my soul and also my body now it's time for my mind this is the last 20 minutes of the 2020 20 rule for a productive morning developed by leadership expert robin sharma and it's basically spending the first hour of your day focusing on you so the time frame definitely varies for me it's not always 20 20 20 sometimes it's like 40 an hour and 20 um but you know you get the idea it's all about spending some time with your mind body and soul so i end my morning by going over my day and mapping out my week on my planner and also just kind of reviewing my to-do list for that specific day sometimes i organize it by like what i'm doing for my business and also my family life personal stuff i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please thumb it up i want to know if you actually enjoyed it in this whole process of creating content connecting with you guys is definitely the highlight and my favorite part so thank you for watching have a blessed and beautiful day and i can't wait to see you soon